Let's take a look at the scheduler. The scheduler is our resource planning tool that lets us look at all of the individual resources that we've got on the team. So let's take a look at what this is showing us. So down the left hand side I can see all of the different role members I've got in Mission Control and across the page I can see a timeline. I'm currently looking at a two week window showing me all of the different hours, uh, all of the different actions that have been assigned to each member of the team. I can adjust that timeline by just expanding the scheduler settings and adjusting the number of weeks that I'm looking at. So I can go from anything from 1 right through to 12 weeks. So if I'm wanting to look at the capacity of the team over the next quarter, I can do that with a couple of clicks. I can always move backwards and forwards in time as well uh, to see a specific point in time that I want to look at. So if we drop that back down to two weeks and take a look, so what this is showing me is as a project member I'm available 32 hours a week to work on projects. So over this two week period I should have 64 hours available in order to work on projects. But it's picking up that I'm on a holiday here so what it's doing is automatically uh, recalculating the available the available hours that I have to work on projects down to 58. So if I navigate forward to a point where I don't have any holiday you'll see that dynamically adjusts and resets itself to show my full capacity across the two week period. So back on my record looking at it today you can see I've got lots of different actions assigned to me over the, over the next two weeks and it's flagging up you know I've got 58 hours available but I've been given 71 hours worth of work to do so there's a bottleneck on me as a resource so it's flagging up red just to show us that we need to try and address that bandwidth. So what I'm able to do is actually drag and drop and reassign this work to other people and I can see Chris has got lots of uh, lots of availability so I could give it, give it to Chris however I want to make sure I'm going to give it to someone on the right team with the right skills profile so I can filter that list down and say all right only show me people that are on that team only show me people with these skill sets in their profile so filter that list and uh, give me a list of people I know that, that can do the work so I've now got a much shorter list of resources so what I'm able to do is actually drag and drop these actions off to other people and as I'm doing that my hours are coming down and theirs are going up so I'm able to distribute the uh, distribute the load across the rest of the team ensuring they've all got work to do and I'm bringing myself back within the capacity that I have available to me. So once, I'm, once I've done that I can click on save and those actions will be transferred over to those new owners. Now what I'm looking at here is obviously the, a high level summary of the, the the actions and the impact on the on the capacity. What I'm also able to do is jump in and look at an hours uh, scheduler. So this shows me the distribution of the of the hours allocated across each resource over the time period we're looking at. So I can quickly see at a glance looking at the color coding whether someone is uh, over, uh, over allocated on a particular day. So what I can see here is mi mix actually over, over allocated for the Tuesday. So we could look to either reassign this to other people or we could look to see if we could re reschedule some of this work to an, a later point where he does have more availability.